क्वेश्चन नंबर 141 एक्टिविटी ऑफ अ सिंपल एंजाइम इज नॉट अफेक्टेड बाय एंड द ऑप्शंस आर टेंपरेचर पीएच सबस्ट्रेट कंसंट्रेशन एंड प्रेजेंस ऑफ कोफैक्टर and we know that simple enzymes do not require cofactors for its optimal activity it is conjugated enzymes which requires presence of cofactor which can be organic or inorganic in nature so the correct answer to this question is option number 4 presence of cofactor cannot affect the activity of simple enzyme whereas rest of the options temperature ph and substrate concentration can affect the optimal activity of simple enzyme so these cannot be the correct options so the correct answer to this question is option number 4 Let's discuss our next question. Question number one forty-two. Select the correct match. And the very first match given is insulin, and the match is dipeptide with disulfide bonds. And as it is an incorrect match, so this cannot be a correct answer to our question because mature insulin is a protein with two polypeptide chains. Next match given is guanine, and the match given is substituted pyrimidine. And this is an incorrect match, so cannot be a correct answer to our question. Because guanine is a substituted purine rather than pyrimidine. The next match given is RNA, and the match is phosphodiester bonds. And as it is a correct match, so this is a correct answer to our question because both RNA and DNA are the nucleic acids which contain phosphodiester bonds. The last match given is cellulose, and the match is. unbranched storage homopolymer and this is an incorrect match because cellulose is a unbranched structural polymer and not storage homopolymer so the correct answer to this question is option number 3 let's discuss our next question question number 143 direct blood supply is absent in so we need to select a a vascular tissue among the given options and the options are triceps sternum myometrium and epithelium in pharynx and the correct answer to this question is option number 4 epithelium in pharynx because epithelium tissue lacks direct blood supply nutrients reaches there through diffusion let's discuss rest of the options triceps and myometrium are the incorrect options because they are muscular tissue and they have direct blood supply whereas sternum is also an incorrect option because sternum is a connective tissue and is vascular in nature so the correct answer to this question is option number 4 let's discuss our next question question number 144 Select the correct statement. And the very first statement given is: Muscular tissue found in heart comprises fibers that are uninucleated and involuntary in nature. And as it is a correct statement, so this is the correct answer to our question because muscular tissue found in heart comprises of cardiac muscle fibers and they are involuntary in nature, striated in appearance, uninucleated or have single nucleus. They are uninucleated. and branched muscle fibers the next statement given is muscle fibers associated with bones are striated and fusiform in appearance and this is an incorrect statement because muscle fibers which are associated with bones are striated or skeletal muscle fibers and they are voluntary in nature and cylindrical in shape why smooth muscle fibers are involuntary and are fusiform shape The next statement is gap junctions at intercalated discs help to stop substance from leaking across a tissue and this is an incorrect statement because tight junctions help to stop substances from leaking across a tissue and not gap junctions the last statement given is endocrine secretions from pancreas include insulin glucagon and amylase and this is an incorrect option because endocrine secretions from pancreas involves hormones like insulin and glucagon and not amylase amylase is an enzyme and it is an exocrine secretion from pancreas so the correct answer to this question is option number 1 let's discuss our next question question number 145 sexual dimorphism can be established in rana tigrina based on presence of all except and the options are Webbed digits in males, vocal sacs in males, copulatory pad in forelimb of male, and the last option is small size and darker coloration than females. And we know that Rana tigrina belongs to the class Amphibia, 
and it exhibits sexual dimorphism based on web digits in males no merely on the presence of web digits we cannot establish a difference between male and female so this is a correct answer to our question because web digits are present in both males and females next option is vocal sex in males and as based on this we can differentiate between male and female in rana tigrina so this cannot be a correct answer to our question because vocal sex are present only in males the next option is copulatory pad in forelimb of male and based on this also we can differentiate between male and female rana tigrina so this cannot be a correct answer because copulatory pad is in forelimb of male only and lacking in females the last option is small size and darker coloration than females and as based on this also we can establish sexual dimorphism so this cannot be a correct answer to our question so the correct answer to this question is option number 1 let's discuss our next question mm -hmm. 